When I went to school, they mentioned this word cunt. I don't, I don't use it. It's not in my vocabulary. I am 88 years of age and 60 motorbikes in my collection. I am Ken Lucas and I build and I ride and collect motorbikes and I go real fast. I was only about six when we got our first motorbikes. We lived near the army camp and the, the people used to ride their old motorbikes and they, we used to get those old motorbikes. They couldn't ride them, they too small. <laughs> the next thing that I had, which was a real motorbike, we moved to a house in Wangaratta and after some time I found the 1932 Douglas with a box on it. I've got beautiful things. That little 250 Max came from Africa. The 500 Cami AJ came from Cairo. Uh, that 1914 Jap, um, that was a local motorbike. And I saw it in 1938 and I didn't get it till 10 years ago. I'm patient. <laughs> and the greatest motorbike we've got is the Big Vincent, which I built myself. It's 1300 and it's like a pussycat to roll it. I was uh, riding my motorbike in races at the Mud Scramble, in Kaluna Park. That was when I first bought a supposedly real motorbike. It was a, a 350 Royal Enfield. And um, I was a real bugger. It didn't matter where I went or how big the bike, I could win. I'm, I'm sure Ken Lucas uh, was born to ride motorbikes. I was a professional rabbit trapper when I was a kid, and then I became a carpenter's apprentice. Then they wanted a diesel mechanic at uh, Geelong when they're building the big oil refinery. And I came to Wangaratta, and my mate that I grew up with, right out, Joe, we'll start a garage. We had that garage business. Joe bought me out, and I, I bought a, uh, a bulldozer and a low loader and an old 38 Mack truck off the army. I became an earth moving contractor. I proved that I could do it. I built the first section of the Hume Freeway at Violet Town, from Violet Town back towards Euroa. I had a friend, he's a greater driver. Johnny and I did the, the, the initial design at Broadford. Oh, well, I did the whole track. It was just a paddock when we went there. Got in there with a big bulldozer and tree pusher, cleared the trees where we had to. We were there for six weeks. I like racing in Broadford and I like the company. I've won lots and lots of races at Broadford. It's just a nice social weekend. You go down there and you catch up with all, all your old mates. It's just a lovely place to be. It's a real a friendly place. I have a bit of truck in front of me. Everyone wants to grab me leg and <laughs> dislocate me bloody hip. One of the marvellous things that I've got in my collection is a 1928 Douglas. It has all the components for the Isle of Man as, as it is there today. It's a 690cc. The engine that was in there was a 750, but the cranks don't last very long. That Douglas, we changed the forks on it. It just holds it line and it's just spot on. That's the original Douglas seat on it. And th there's so much that made about It's still running the original carburetors. Oh, look, I like the noise marks. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why it goes so bloody quick. Straight off the line, with it'll loft the wheel, second gear to loft the wheel, and it'll go straight up to 140 mile an hour. I wouldn't ride any other bloody bike. <laughs> Thank you.
what I like about motorbike is the freedom. You had a hard day and you're stressed out and you jump on the bike and you go for 30k up over the hill and home again and you're happy. I'll keep riding till I fall over, I think. No reason not to, I mean, what else is a young bloke supposed to do?